Welcome to the joy of synthesizing. Together we're going to have fun making a little synthesis music. Today on our easel, you'll notice we have a Quark Volca Kick is an analog kick generator. It makes those happy little drum and bass sounds. We also have a Quark Volca FM, the frequency modulator. It adds in those pleasant, white little appreciated sounds, making a beautiful rhythm in the key of E minor. We also have a Korg Monotron Delay, which is known for its squealing sounds that it likes to add. But of course, it is also a producer of a light hiss, so we're going to leave it down for now. I want us to challenge the idea that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I want us to think of beauty as the interpretation of truth, because beauty is very much connected to an objective truth. Now, we may have our own taste, our own dispositions, but beauty is connected to something quite objective in reality. And music is very much mathematical, hence today we're going to need a calculator. Our particular calculator is a Casio VL1, which is both a calculator and a synthesizer. As we come in today and we start studying music and the mathematical design behind it, we will notice that just playing random notes doesn't come across very well because there really is a reason why certain things sound melodic. nice little happy melody we can program in there and again the reason why this comes together in a structure is because there is an order to it there's a mathematical reason that these wavelengths line up together and make a harmony it is quite objective it is not random we can take our Korg or excuse me our Casio V01 and flip it over to record and input a simple sequence got to clear out the other of course we want to come in at the right time use our one touch key so that we can interact with our monotron delay and add some nice extra features in there to get a really fun sounding thing happening. You may ask, well, what if we just randomly do cast around? What if we, we can just call something art and therefore it becomes art? Which, of course, art in and of itself is, is connected to truth just as beauty is. Again, the artist is not someone who just randomly throws things around, but they are in the pursuit of a truth that they can find out in reality and communicate that to others. Music itself is very much connected to a particular truth. As we come to our synthesizers, let's take something which will move us from where we are at now closer to the edge of chaos. We're going to be going to a very particular strange progression of notes which will come together and we will feel the tension. It's amazing how whether or not we are terribly inclined musically we can always hear these places where music is near the edge of chaos. Now let's take a listen. Got to get the right memory bank here. Got to hit the right memory bank. Now, as 
as we listen to this music here, you'll notice that it, it is very much close to the edge of chaos. There is something here which almost pushes us over the edge. The rhythms, there's the, the F sharp chord with the E attached to it, then there's something which sounds a bit like a D major, but it also has some elements of a B minor thrown in there with an, a, a second thrown there on the top of there, and it's a very interesting feel because it also somewhat feels like a, a D flat. Now, as we come to this, you'll notice that there are just a few rhythms and notes which will come together to make this melodic. sort of close to the edge of the chaos and what's so interesting is even as we listen to our Casio VL1 the slight oscillations that happen in the note there's a little bit of vibrato the the wavelengths are, are moving around a little bit unstable as they, they go in and out of pitch you can hear the tension very much in this rhythm because the chord structure which is used takes us so close to the edge of chaos very close to the edge of chaos. And speaking of the edge of chaos, some of you may be people who enjoy great video games such as The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and a, a wonderful example of even moving to chaos is something such as that music which plays when the guardians are upon you and even the devil himself knows that he, he better get out of town because the, the guardian will come in and one hit you to another dimension. But as we listen to this music, it's quite clearly in the key of B minor. But there's something interesting that we can do with, with notes like the second of the, the chordal scale that really add a bizarre rhythm to it. Or I wouldn't say rhythm, but perhaps a, a bizarre feel. Again, you hear that C sharp in there adds an extra interesting feel just to the, the tones which come together. they come together not out of something random, not out of just random slapping with gross motor skills upon the keyboard, but they come together because there is in fact an objective structure to why music is beautiful. And this is so important for us to understand as we come to our modern world. We must not be fooled to think that the happy melodies we embark upon are, are just there out of random happenstance, but in fact they are there because there is an objective standard to music. And on that, I want us to really think about beauty. Beauty is not just a subjective thing, but think of beauty as the interpretation of truth, and beauty is something moving in proximity to truth. The more beautiful it is, the closer it is to a particular truth. I hope you've enjoyed our program today. Please subscribe to our channel at Kingdom of the Lagos. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, SoundCloud, CastBox, iTunes, and other places as well. And on that, have a blessed day.